Car makers slowly but surely start to understand that EVs are not the future because people are simply not into them, especially when it comes to pickup trucks. Ram doesn't want to throw all its eggs into one basket and offer only an electric version of the Ram 1500. That's why they worked hard to create one of the best hybrids ever, which is the Ram 1500 Ram Charger. So, if you want to learn more about this model, stay with us while we learn how the all-new Ram 1500 Ram Charger blows everyone away. Chassis, Cab, and Bed Configurations Let's start with the core of this new truck, and that is the chassis. The 2025 model will implement a new chassis since this is a completely new generation of the Ram 1500. But overall, this wouldn't be a revolution, but a small upgrade to the current chassis to allow it to pack batteries and electric motors for the hybrid and electric models. So overall, the truck should drive pretty much the same as the current model, but this wouldn't be the case with a Ram Charger. The Ram Charger is expected to implement independent suspension in the front as well as in the rear, so no solid axle with this model. This is good and bad at the same time. It is good because the truck will drive really well, and bad is that this model will lack some of the truck characteristics. Although we were quite impressed with the numbers of this truck when it comes to towing and payload. When it comes to the cab and bed configurations, it is not clear yet how many different configurations will be. But from the sources, there should be only one cab, which is the crew cab. The crew cab is a full-size four-door cab and definitely one of the most popular choices when it comes to pickup trucks. When it comes to bed types, there can be one or two options available. More specific details should be released in the near future when it comes to the configurations of this new truck. Powertrain The Ram 1500 Ram Charger is not the ordinary plug-in hybrid that you often find in many other vehicles. The Ram Charger is a power generator on wheels. With this truck, you can even power your house. How crazy is that? Nevertheless, the Ram Charger uses a strictly electric powertrain, and this is what makes the Ram Charger different from any other plug-in hybrid. The electric motor and the internal combustion engine do not work together in this application. In the Ram Charger, the internal combustion engine is installed as an electric generator that generates current and charges up the battery. The engine that is used for this application is the good old 3.6-liter Pentastar. Although naturally aspirated, this engine is more than enough to serve the purpose of a generator. It manages to deliver up to 130 kilowatts and peak at 190 kilowatts, which is a really good number, while the real powertrain is the two electric motors that work combined, one at the front and one in the rear. Both of these engines combined manage to get up to 663 HP and 615 pound per foot of torque, making this truck the most powerful model in the full-size segment. All this power makes the Ram Charger able to accelerate it from 0 to 60 in only 4.4 seconds, which for a full-size pickup truck is quite a lot to be honest. Overall, the whole idea behind the Ram Charger we think is really phenomenal. This truck manages to solve two of the biggest issues with electric pickup trucks, which is charging and battery drain under load. The 3.6 liter engine is constantly charging the battery, so there's no situation when the battery is empty. In other words, no range anxiety with this model. The battery that is used in the Ram Charger is 92 kilowatt hours. Although not a huge battery, it is still enough to give you 150 miles of range without the generator creating power. Onboard power options. And we cannot talk about generating power without covering the onboard power options. This model also allows you to power external accessories. Inside the truck bed, you have a whole power outlet to connect anything you like, making this truck perfect for those who need a power outlet and do not have an outlet nearby. Also, this model has an option to power your home. When the grid is down, you can use your truck as your power source, even up to 30 days to generate electricity. So, you never have to worry whether the grid will collapse. Even if you want to live off-grid or if you have a cabin in the woods that is off-grid, with this truck, you will never have to worry about electricity. Towing and Payload Performance Towing and payload performance is crucial when it comes to trucks. A truck has to perform in both of these areas in order to be even considered to be a truck. Why so? Well, for example, the Ford Lightning, which is the electric truck that Ford makes, is a pretty terrible performer when it comes to truck duties. When you see the numbers at first glance, you think, awesome, this is a proper truck. 
But once you put a load on this vehicle, then things quickly fall apart and the range depletes rather quickly. Then you need hours to charge the battery, making this truck unusable for towing and payload. And here is where the Ram Charger steps in. This model solves this problem with a 3.6 liter engine that acts as a generator. So, you have a constant supply of power. As the battery depletes, the generator will be able to charge it at the same time. This allows the Ram Charger to tow up to 14,000 pounds, making this truck become the best in its class along with the F-150. Payload is also pretty much excellent. Although you run multi-link rear suspension, you will still be able to fit up to 2,625 pounds of cargo, which is more than enough for many out there. Overall, the Ram Charger is a really usable truck in our opinion that solves the biggest problem that electric trucks have, fuel economy and EV autonomy. Fuel economy plays a big role when buying a new pickup truck, and the whole purpose of the Ram Charger is to be as efficient as possible. So, the overall range of this truck on a full battery and a full tank of gas is 690 miles, which for a truck is excellent. There is simply no competition for the Ram 1500 Ram Charger at the moment. So, for a full tank of gas, you will be able to get up to 540 miles of range. Then the engine will shut down and you will be able to drive up to 150 miles only in electric mode. With the Ram Charger, you will never have to worry that you will be left without power. Exterior and Interior Design The exterior design of the Ram Charger is another highlight. This new model will be greatly revised compared to the current model of the Ram 1500. Although we can describe the changes as an evolution rather than a revolution in terms of design language. Overall, there will be new headlight and grill designs with the new model with the Ram logo illuminated, as well as the redesigned taillights and a new Ram logo on the tailgate. Besides these changes, we can say that the upgrades for 2025 are pretty conservative and this truck will not change a lot compared to the current model. The same story goes for the interior. The main accent goes towards technology nowadays and Ram tries to offer more features than the competitors. So, you get an even larger portrait-oriented infotainment screen rated at 14.5 inches as well as a screen for the front passenger as well. This screen will be horizontal, rated at 10.25 inches. This will allow the passenger to use the infotainment and use it for streaming shows. Overall, the new Ram Charger will be a good evolution of the current model in terms of exterior and interior design. Trim Levels When it comes to trim levels, it is not clear yet for which trims will be included. We've only come across the new tungsten trim. It is highly likely that the tungsten will be the only trim option for the Ram Charger. This tungsten trim will basically be the most premium trim that Ram has introduced up to date. This new luxurious trim will feature 22-inch aluminum wheels, premium leather, and 24-way power front seats with heating, ventilation, and memory, as well as a premium Klipsch audio system. Maybe in the near future, there will be news about the Ram Charger available with other trims, but for now, only the tungsten trim is highly likely to receive this new powertrain. And this means that this truck will cost a ton of money. Pricing and Release Date When it comes to pricing, it is expected that the Ram Charger will come somewhere in the range of $80,000 to $100,000. It is expensive, but in our opinion, it is worth it because with this truck, you will never have to deal with range anxiety, not to mention how much money you will save on fuel in the long run. The release date of this truck is expected to be somewhere this time next year since this will be a 2025 model. But during the summer, it is expected that the first models will be released for car reviewers to check out and see how this truck performs in the real world.